Hello, in this video, we are going to find the value of root of i plus root of negative i. We have solution. So we can start by equating root of i plus root of negative i to be equals to a variable, maybe x. Now this method one, let's start with this first method, this is method one. I'm going to show two methods of solving this problem. So the next thing is for us to square the both sides of this equation. We have root of i plus root of negative i all squared equals to x squared. So now recall if you have a plus b all squared is simply equals to we have a squared plus 2ab plus b squared and in this case our a is simply root of i and our b is simply equals to root of negative i so if you substitute this for whatever you have here you're going to have let me continue here. Root of i plus we have root of negative i all squared will simply be equals to we have a here we're gonna have root of i all squared plus two times we have root of i times root of negative i then we have plus root of negative i all squared and remember this is equals to x squared so root of i squared the squared here will cancel the square root here and we have the squared here will cancel the square root here now we're gonna be left with i plus 2 root of i times we have root of negative i plus negative i and this is equals to x squared so definitely this i will cancel what we have negative i here so we simply have 2 root of i times root of negative i equals to x squared this is like writing 2 root of i times negative i and this is equals to x squared so let's proceed in the next slide we have 2 root of i times negative i and this is equals to x squared i times negative i recall that i times i equals to negative 1 so this simply means negative into i times i and this equals to negative times negative 1 so this is equals to 1 that means i times negative i is simply equals to 1 so we're going to have 2 root of 1 equals to x squared and the square root of 1 is 1 so we have 2 equals to x squared and we can rearrange we have x squared equals to 2 so therefore we have x to be equals to plus or minus square root of 2 so this is one of the methods of solving this problem and recall that x is simply equals to root of i plus root of negative i don't forget this so therefore we have root of i plus root of negative i equals to plus or negative root of 2. 
This is one of the methods. Now let's go ahead and use another method to solve this problem. So let's have method two. We have method two and we have root of i plus root of negative i. So this will give us root of Instead of i, we have 2i divided by 2 plus we have negative 2i divided by 2. 2i divided by 2, we have i. Negative 2i divided by 2, we have negative i. So this is simply like writing we have root of 2i divided by root of 2 plus we have root of negative 2i divided by root of 2 and we can decide to write it this way we can have 1 over root of 2 times here we have root of 2i plus 1 over root of 2, we are just factoring out 1 over root of 2 here, and we have times root of 2i. So let's proceed in the next slide. We have 1 over root of 2 times root of 2i plus 1 over root of 2 times root of negative 2i so what should we do next now 1 over root of 2 times instead of root of 2i we can decide to add this we have 1 plus 2i minus 1 plus 1 over root of 2 times Instead of this, we can have 1 minus 2i minus 1. Because 1 minus 1, we still have 2i. 1 minus 1, we still have negative 2i. So we haven't changed anything yet. Now, the next thing is for us to have this 1 root of 2, 1 over root of 2 times. Instead of 1, we can have 1 squared is still 1 plus 2 times 1 2 times 1 is 1 times i we have 2i then this negative one we can decide to have plus i squared i squared is negative 1 we have plus 1 over root of 2 times 1 we have 1 squared minus 2 times 1 times i here we have negative 1 which is the same thing as saying plus i squared so we have 1 divided by root of 2 times recall that if you have a squared plus 2ab plus b squared it simply equals to a plus b so this simply means we're going to have square root of 1 plus i so right now if you look at what we have here it corresponds to if you have a squared plus 2ab plus b squared it simply equals to a plus b or to the power of 2. So we're going to apply this identity here. That means we're going to have 1 divided by root of 2 times square root of, we're going to take 1 plus i or to the power of 2. And we do the same thing here plus 1 divided by root of 2 times. We're going to take 1 minus 
i all to the power of 2. So I've written it down here. We have the square root here. It will be cancelled by the square here. And we have the square root. We cancel by the square here. But because of this square root here we are, that we have taken, we can have plus or minus 1 divided by root of 2 into we have 1 plus i. And we have plus. Here we can have plus or minus 1 divided by root of 2 into 1 minus i. So what will happen here is we can actually factor out 1 divided by root of 2 because they are common. So we have plus or minus 1 over root of 2 into, we take this one, 1 plus i, then we have plus 1 minus i. So this will give us, you're going to have plus or minus 1 over root of 2 into 1 plus i. We have 2i minus i. So that one will cancel. So this simply means we're going to have plus or minus 2 divided by root of 2. So we can decide to rationalize the denominator by multiplying the numerator by root of 2. And we have this divided by root of 2. So this simply means, let me make a space here. We're going to have, we have plus or minus 2 root of 2 divided by root of 2 times root of 2 is simply 2. So 2 will cancel. 2 here we have plus or minus root of 2. So this now corresponds to what we had before. But this is just a very long process. And that is it. And that is the end of the video. Please don't forget to subscribe, share to your friends. Take care and goodbye.